Hello everyone, welcome back to Mutant Year Zero. Let's play episode two. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost. A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. Mass graves spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone, and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot, and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least... That's what the Elder says. Alright everyone, well we just got a bunch of backstory to what this game is actually all about. And that's actually pretty, I mean obviously nukes sounds like what happens in every apocalyptic game but the spin they did on it with like i don't know it actually sounds like the characters we're playing with are almost like mutated humans kind of in a way and the arc it sounds like is basically shimanzi's like last strong point survival type thing and i don't know kind of sounds i don't know if any of y'all ever watched um the elevator's up ahead. Basically, I can't even remember what it's called. But it was on the CW, and yeah. <clears throat> so we're just gonna look Two around rules. here. See him. Oh, what are those rod heads up to? We got some enemies Wait. right here. They're planning to ambush the elevator. We've got to stop them. Let's okay, sneak so they're trying to others. do something. Box opens. We go <laughs> in the box. Box no. I love their description of an elevator. You get in the box, you go out of the box, and then you're good. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a moving enemy. We have not seen that before. It kind of almost sounds like the uh, first little bit that we just did was like a tour. Oh, okay, another one. So they can be spread out. That's interesting. But yeah, it sounded like that was just like a tutorial. Oh, oh boy. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna go ambush now. Okay. We are just gonna walk. Mm, yeah, we're gonna walk over there. Get behind some good cover. Nice big tree trunk. Yeah, that should be one shot. Yes. Perfect. Alright, now we just got three to worry about now. So let's go ahead and 
go back to the docks and get behind this tree and we should be able to hit him with a crossbow. Yeah, that's exactly what we just did that fast. Alright. finally figured out how to use that thing. Oh, no, ducks, he only has half health left. That might be a problem, but we're not going to worry about that now. We don't want to waste the entire turn doing that. Okay, so they're moving up. Oh, dang. Okay, so he just... Can I hit anyone? No! Alright. Okay, so we are just going to... Yeah. Yeah, it's a one shot. Nice. Alright, Warthog for me. Not me, I just walk that little. There goes a turn wasted. Good cover. Oh my god, I think this is the first enemy I'm not out. That's bad. He misses on a rock, I miss on a rock. Yeah, I think that's the first enemy I've not been able to actually like one shot yet. Alright. What is this? I actually don't know if that did anything. Maybe, oh, maybe that just blinded him or something. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. Bleeding out. Okay, so it looks like I have a turn. Okay. Right, well, let's just go ahead and kill you. I can't even kill you yet. Hmm. Let's go get ducks, actually. And use the med kit. Yeah. Stay still. I'm gonna patch you up. All right, the ducks is back in action. He's ready to go. How can I hit him? Oh, I gotta reload. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing can kill the patties. Gosh, that's not good. Mm, we're just gonna go right by and get as close as we can. And then we are going to fire at you. No, you're probably gonna hit me. Kill me. Oh, he's walking away. Oh no, he's aiming at me. Okay. Well, oh, they're thinking about med pack. I don't know if that time, I guess not. Okay. Serves you right. Oh, well, that's nice. They revive yeah. after the fight. Okay, that's cool. Let's collect that loot. Oh, we got an optical sight. That's nice. Basically, in this video, it should just be us walking to the arc. Uh, that's our, been our current objective since the last video. Come back here. Right. Scouting ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and check on what we can do. So yeah, there's the park. I'm just gonna walk a little bit. See if there's any. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and give him more help. Since he just died on that. Oh, I can't actually. Can I? Right, gun. I don't know where we... I think health is going to be more useful for us now. Because, I mean, we just have four enemies compared to us. We just have two, so I think having more health would be a little bit better. 
I don't want that. It's too. And we're just gonna give ducks um, some more health as well. Alrighty. So it looks like that's where we need to be. But we, there might, yeah, there's definitely some stuff left out here. So let's go ahead and scavenge around for a bit. Since that technically is what we are, what the video told us, that we are scavengers. Just looking for stuff to supply humanity. So we just, sounds like we have like an elder that is basically in the control of like organized human organization. Oh, oh, there is a ladder up there. That actually would have been highly useful in that last fight. Wow. I did not even see that. Okay. It doesn't seem... I don't know if you can actually do anything with these letters, or if... Like, it's just for us to read. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe. Because like I don't think they go in inventory or anything, so like there's no quests or tasks attached to them. <clears throat> Doesn't look like there's anything else in the house. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is there anything on the roof? No. And that is a nice thing, like when you get the flashlights out, it will actually like highlight if there is something there to be picked up. Because if not, I think it would all just kind of blend in with the texture, so it's nice that you can see that from far away with a flashlight out. What is over here? Already the sign, nothing we already checked there. Alright, let's go ahead and... No, let's just go up. The art is really up there. Wow. The elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before, but the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. Alright, so it looks like our first major quest is going to go find this guy Hammond. And it sounds like he's pretty important. It says it keeps the heart of the Ark alive, so... Yeah, we probably should have, you know, told someone else about that. Not just relied on himself to make himself more important. But, and I don't know why he has a little cabin that he goes to. I mean, the Ark seems a little bit safer. So this is the Ark. Looks like we cannot walk around in it. It looks like we just have a couple options to choose from and select. So that, so that. Got a little shop. Another shop, a bar. What can we do in here? Wanna know how this goes down? For the right mm -hmm. price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? It's a little weapons gig going here. Do, can we fit out anything or upgrade anything? Yeah. 
Hmm. We can attach this, it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and do that. That didn't look like it took anything. And then I think I might as well upgrade this gun to level two. Yeah. Yeah, that works. So now he has his level two shotgun. And let's see what else we can do. Oh yeah, let's equip these optical sights to the crossbow. <clears throat> What else? Take it easy. We're gonna go out and we're gonna go to the bar. We've had a long, long walk. I don't know how long we've been out there either. So after a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high quality grog. You wanna get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, mm. bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Okay, so and he's then... running a little side gig up here. Some artifacts, so I guess like that boom box we found. Um, mm. Mm. Um, we're gonna go with this one. So it looks like we get a point every time we find some type of artifact. Alright, let's check out this last shop. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. <laughs> well, that person's a little sassy. They're a little full of themselves. Okay, let's go. We can buy four med packs. Okay. That's probably useful. Or some Molotov, hand grenades, and med pack. Oh, okay. So it looks like the number is just the stock. Later, Gator. 55 scrap parts. Well, that's just for one. Right, let's check this out. Oh, that's just our elevator. Okay. Well, what's up here? We got the Elder's Place. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit. And I'll offer you some guidance. He's actually not looking too Perhaps good. He's got story. a lot of blood Farewell. all around him. Wow. Remember your. Yeah, he doesn't look that healthy. I don't know if we should trust him that much. I don't know. Maybe that's a turning plot twist in the game that he's not to be trusted. All right. So we are going to go ahead and just go down, exit to Ham Hammond's. Yeah, Hammond's cabin. All right. And I think we're going to call that a video here. Um, next video will be us getting to Hammond's Cabin. So thank you all for watching. Um, yeah, I will see you all later.